Hi guys, my name is Kylie. I am making this video to highlight how to sell on Depop. If you don't know much about me, I'm a marketing student at UCR, I'm a third year, and times are tough. I'm a little broke at the moment. So I've resorted to selling on Depop, but I want to show you guys how I do it just to help you guys out if you are looking for a way to sell money on the side. I mean, just make some money on the side if you are struggling like me. I'm gonna show you guys how to take photos of your pieces, how I take the measurement of the clothes, also just going through the listing process because I know some people may be a little hesitant in doing Depop just because they feel like they don't know that's all I was but it's pretty easy and um, the supplies pretty easy to get I have a lot of pants jackets tops so I'll show you guys what it looks like sorry if it's messy but here are the pants dresses sweaters or cardigans heavyweight jackets or hoodies these are all tops also selling these hats but i also have more so look at, look at my charpa anyways <laughs> And then I have more clothes. These clothes are already listed on my Depop and no one wants to buy them. I'm learning that you just have to be patient with Depop. I also have a bunch of clothes in this closet that are already listed on Depop, so... Yeah. <laughs> I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but I did record one while I was listing my past clothing, but the lighting was very boo-boo, so we're redoing it. Step one, taking pictures of your pieces. Let's go. Can't see me. For this step, you need to buy measuring tape and make sure you just have a camera. I honestly just use my phone. I use my floor just because it's a blank background. I'm gonna do an example of how I take my pictures of pants. I lay it out flat. And so what you're gonna do is grab your phone or whatever you're gonna use to take pictures. Take a picture of the front view of the pants, flip it, take a picture of the back. And then you just wanna look out for any flaws on the pants. So if there's any like strings poking out or stained, if they receive their order and they notice anything's wrong with the product that you didn't address in your pictures or on your listing, that could be a problem and then you'll money so oh, we don't want that I take a picture of the brand right look out for anything uh, any flaws flip it take a picture of the back and there next are measurements for the pants so I use the inches side the side with the bigger number so what's helpful for me is making a notes on my notes app for pants I just do the waist inseam and outseam and then obviously address what the size is what type of rise it is so this is what my notes looks like I won't focus but it says waist inseam and outseam I just made a couple um, basically like a template so I don't have to keep typing it. it makes the process go faster and take the waist and it's literally just from one side to the other so I do it at the top like this make sure it's accurate then about 14 inches and then so I'll type it in my notes app next is the inseam so basically this I usually just like to do top to bottom here's the inseam do it from here take note of that 31.5 inches and then the out seam is basically just this outer part of the jeans and then all the way to the bottom of the pants so i'm gonna repeat this for about uh five more pants so i will get back to you guys later <laughs> okay sorry i have to really <laughs> next we're gonna do tops i'll show you what type of measurements i do for tops so for tops i do just the width and height to do the width take your inches side here from the pit so this is the width 26.5 and the height flip it i think you start it from here and then to 23 and that's it pretty much it
And also, I forgot to show you guys this, but this is a Chrome extension. It's called Bump. And I added it through Chrome extension and it's called Depop Bop Bump. There is a way to boost your clothes to get it to be seen more or viewed more by customers, but it costs money. So I'm like, no thank you, 8% fee. I know that's not a lot, but still, you lose money. So I just use this and you get 100 total and I just refresh it and it'll refresh your clothes. So bump items and then it'll refresh your listings just so if people are searching it at the moment, um, your product will come up. Don't mind my face right now. I just woke up, it's like 12 in the afternoon. Um, it's Monday, but anyways, I sold a shirt and now I'm gonna show you guys how I package it and it's really easy. So you wanna buy these types of shipping bags off Amazon. I'm not sure what type of size it is, but they have a lot of different sizes on Amazon. I just buy the big ones cause I do have like thick jackets, pants that I usually send out. So and these are perfect. So I'm selling this shirt, this Mickey Mouse shirt. I know it's like a little small for this. So usually I'll just like fold it up and make sure it's taped and secured tape and scissors and me scissors this is the shipping label that depop will give you i went with depop shipping it's pretty easy to set up i just put my address in and they'll do it for you That is my Depop tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or you see my hand. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned how to use Depop a little more. I know it can be a little overwhelming almost, but honestly, it's super easy once you get the hang of it. And you have to be patient when you're selling clothes. I know it takes a little while. I hope you start selling and make that extra cash. Okay, bye. <laughs>